I am an artist who collects ocean plastic from beaches and sea caves all over the world. And then I take it back and put it in front of people's awareness so that we can see what's happening with plastic that we use every day. And you have a film showing here at the festival. What is the film about? Is that about your work? Yes, it's actually a culmination of five years of work on the island of Kefalonia in Greece. And that particular island is extremely beautiful and it's uh, surrounded by sea caves. The understory has got many, many caves and a lot of the plastic actually collects in the caves. So over the course of the five years since I've been working there, we've been able to mobilize thousands of the citizens of the island. Um, also with tourists and, and uh, the ministry even to uh, take a look at the idea of changing the island to a plastic-free island and thereby rebranding it as an ecotourist destination. And what are you holding in your hand? Is that is that part of your artwork? Is that a combination of art? What is that? These are actual specimens. These are artifacts from the ocean that I have collected from different places all over the world. What we're seeing, you know, to me, this is evidence of this kind of crime of the plastic. And birds oh. and whales and uh, mammals all mistake it for food, or they're curious. But it, at some point, they're ingesting it. So it, it's now in our food chain pieces. This is actually plastic sand. Uh, I scooped this directly out of a, a location in Hawaii and you can see it's now to the size of a micro plastic and um, this is how it can be eaten very easily. Oh dear. And you also wrote a book called Drifters, Plastics, Pollution and Personhood. Yeah. What is that book about? It's about the origin of my project. So I, f I first stumbled upon this plastic in uh, the south point of the Big Island of Hawaii. And it just was shocking to me in such a way that, uh, you know, I, it changed my entire life. And I began working with it 10 years ago.